All right, so the internet that you're looking at right now is foreign to me because I use ad blocking host file. All these ads are really dangerous and they're really annoying. So we're gonna remove them in this video. I uh, work from Starbucks all the time and uh, it'd be really embarrassing to have naked ladies uh, show up on your screen like that. It's dangerous and it's embarrassing, it's bad all around. Okay, so to configure ad blocking host file on Windows, you go to Google and you type in ad blocking host file. That's easy enough. Uh, find the one that suits you. The third hit, I found it to be uh, um, quite nice. It's a long list of uh, uh, bad websites that can be blocked. And uh, we're going to grab this list. And we're going to do that. You can either con do Control A uh, on Windows or you can go to Edit and then select all to select the entire thing. Control C or go to edit and say copy to copy the whole thing. And we're going into hosts file. You want to rename the original, for example, hosts.orig or original, whatever. Uh, leave it as is and create a new one, call it hosts. Your Windows XP might uh, assign a TXT extension by default, so you want to go uh, under folder options and uh, display extensions. Um, See, so it added hosts.txt. You want to remove that because the name of the file is hosts, plural, no extension. All right. We open it up. It's going to be blank, obviously, and now we're going to control V, or we can simply edit and then paste. There are thousands of entries in there. Um, every single one of those entries um, is a failed name resolution for bad websites. All right. And uh, once you do that, and you refresh your screen, it should um, appear market markedly different. Um, not, um, you know, these things are always, um, you know, the level of effectiveness um, is going to vary depending on the type of ad and stuff like that. But notice the ads from the sides are gone. The play now download thing is still there. Uh, shouldn't be there. That's an ad. Um, there's uh, obviously a window uh, that failed to resolve in there as well. It's going to look a lot better once we actually reboot. So uh, we're going to reboot this puppy. That way all the uh, DNS name resolution cache is... Um, out of the system and uh, we basically start from scratch by the way this is Dino from DIYblogger.net um, if you're watching this on YouTube you may want to head over to DIYblogger.net to uh, uh, read the context for the whole thing because I imagine uh, out of context uh, this video may seem a little weird uh, in any case, uh, if we go back to a website that um, has a ton of ads after the reboot, you'll notice that it looks much cleaner. All the ads are gone. And the reason they're gone is because your local machine is trying to resolve those ads and the host's file is giving it the wrong information so the name resolution fails. The ad display basically fails. Very cool. 